Disney Genie Plus is about to receive yet another update. And honestly, this one is kind of a game changer. So you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video to find out how this is going to affect your Disney World vacation plans in late 2022 and into early 2023. Hi, I'm Andrew from Florida Tips for Brits. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And if you do enjoy it, please consider leaving the video a thumbs up. Or if you're feeling really saucy, you could even subscribe to the channel. Both these things are completely free to you, but mean the world to me and help the channel quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm gods. Now, with that out of the way, let's take a look at this update. So then, with an update to Disney's Genie Plus expected to launch this next week, Disney is claiming that it's simplifying the process of modifying Lightning Lane selections. Now, that is to say that visitors will soon be able to modify an existing Lightning Lane selection without first having to gamble by cancelling your current selection and then attempting to rebook it at a different time. The gamble here, of course, is that currently you do run the risk of losing your Lightning Lane selection altogether if availability runs out during your attempt to rebook a time. Disney has also said that guests will be able to search for other Lightning Lane experiences and times prior to modifying their existing selections. So you're now going to be able to see if you can get that sweet, sweet Muppet Vision 3D Lightning Lane prior to even attempting to make changes to your bookings. Don't pretend you don't like the Muppets. I see you. You like the Muppets. Visitors will also be able to make changes to their party size during modifications. So if Uncle Fred tips up late because he had one too many at Trader Sam's last night or someone chickens out from riding the Tower of Terror, you're going to be able to adjust your bookings accordingly. Now, it is important to note that the update will not apply to the individual Lightning Lane purchases, which are made separately from the Genie Plus service. So that means all the super fancy rides like Guardians of the Galaxy, Rise of the Resistance, etc. The booking process for these isn't changing at all. That's remaining the same. Disney has said the decision behind the change was based on feedback from guests. So yes, they are listening to us, guys. Love to see it. The changes are going to appear in the My Disney Experience and the Disneyland mobile apps for both Android and iOS users once the update is made available. Just be aware that you may have to update your app to see the new options. Now, I personally think these changes should be a good thing as it certainly seems like they add a little extra flexibility to the selection of lightning lanes and makes them feel just a little bit closer to the fast passes of old. Now, if only they were included in the price of admission too. I think that, that might be asking too, that's definitely asking too much, isn't it? But with all that being said, I'd love to know what you think of the upcoming changes to Disney Genie Plus in the comments down below. And when you're done doing that, perhaps you can check out this video next because after all, YouTube has selected it just for you. Thanks for watching.